special seminar uh, for C uh, CDC, and it's really my my pleasure to uh, to have uh, the thought of Koei Wang as a speaker uh, today. And uh, Koei actually, so I have known Koei for for a long time, uh, and he comes here uh, for his son's graduation. It's not just the you know the graduate from from Washu. And so that it's nice of him to uh, uh, take some time uh, to show us the, his latest work. So Kuei got his MD, PhD uh, in Beijing University uh, Medical School. Was, uh, and then he, he has a very interesting uh, experience. So he, he went to, then he went to University of Cambridge, did a postdoc uh, uh, doctor training in pharmacology, and then he he came to the States, uh, in Yale University, uh, worked with uh, Steve Goldstein. And that's where, so I first heard of him, uh, because uh, he worked on IKS channels, MinK, and, and later on, uh, some two-port uh, passing channel. Uh, and then uh, he went to WIAS uh, uh, Research, the, the pharmaceutical company, uh, worked there for several <coughs> years uh, as a principal Principal research scientist. Uh, in there, although he was in industry, he actually publishes several really nice uh, papers uh, uh, on ITL studies. Uh, and then uh, he, in 2005, he quit the job in Wyeth and went back to uh, China to uh, become professor in, uh, in a Peking University Medical School. And uh, after uh -huh. just Less than two years he was there, um, he published a, a really nice paper uh, on the uh, structure of Acacia, uh, which actually was a continuation of his work in Wines. And now uh, he will show us more recent work. Thanks a lot, Jamie, for the introduction. And Really excited uh, to be here and have a nice day. And also, it uh, has happened that so my son is graduating this afternoon. Right? <laughs> really uh, uh, pleased and taking him back to Princeton and where he's going to go for uh, graduate studies and for environmental energy. I think that the term uh, engineering and environmental energy. Leave this uh, change from the ca uh, chemical engineering here. So, but anyway, I hope uh, our department of chemical engineering used to be chemical engineering. Now it's also energy. I see. And chemical engineering. It's the same. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, nice day and beautiful campus. This is uh, my second time. I watch you, I guess. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, the walking on the campus. Uh, very nice. Okay, and as a Jamie said, uh, uh, I guess uh, in 2005 I, I, I created a, a wife and then went back to where I, I came from in Beijing um, University Medical School and then started uh, a new thing. I guess this uh, was crazy, and, but uh, anyway, it's a long story. Uh, what I like to do, I guess, uh, uh, to share uh, uh, with you about one of the projects I mean, that uh, have been going on. Uh, which is we're really interested in, in, in understanding and how KV4 and then K-chip and it's a, it's a set, uh, auxiliary subunit interact and what kind of a mechanism or structural mechanism that mediates the protein-protein the, the interaction. So in next, I have 40 minutes, is that right? So a brief introduction for the, for the KV4 and K-chips uh, and then also uh, I guess uh, my, uh, my, uh, my talk uh, <coughs> to, to, to focus on, on KG1 and KG4 for internal structural complex and also the, the, the recent uh, understanding about uh, one of another uh, uh, accessory subunit, KG4, and how KG4A affects uh, uh, KV4 gating. And in the end, I'll just give you a, a brief summary and also what currently we are thinking uh, of this, this project, where we are heading. 
again, I think, I think so, so, uh, if you have any questions, uh, just uh, stop me, I guess. Uh, and everyone knows this, uh, this is an uh, action potential, I think, uh, uh, New York fires a brief action potential and it, it quickly uh, it terminates uh, the action potential um, by repolarization. And uh, this is partly because of uh, the, the, the passing channels. Uh, in, in, in other words, it's a, it's a ISA, it's a sub threshold, A type passing channel functions that, that terminates the, the action potential that makes a really a sharp turning at the repolarization. And if you if you if you recall uh, 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 action potentials in, in different locations of a, of, a, of a neuron, for example, in soma and the dendrite, you can you can see a, a different shape of action potentials recorded as soma, and then and then also in in in, in, in dendrite. And this is uh, uh, partly because of uh, the the A type plasm channels and express differently in those two locations. And in here, you can see a very uh, small current of, uh, of a type current. And, and in, in, the, in the center, you can see a huge uh, uh, a type uh, current recorded. Also, the kinetics in, in these two uh, locations are very much uh, different. Uh, we, we all know the, the plasm channels are uh, Complex of uh, alpha, pore forming alpha subunits, and also the accessory subunits. And uh, this is a, okay, I don't know which very much about this, the, 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 the topology. This is a typical uh, uh, six transmembrane domain and voltage gated plasma channels. And then uh, KV4 is, is one of the uh, subfamilies of, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of shaker related uh, uh, plasma channels. And we know that there are several uh, accessory subunits. And this is a, a K, a K chips. That's uh, this is a, 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 a accessory subunit that uh, we have been uh, interested in for about several years. Uh, back in 2000, and, and uh, my colleagues at uh, Wyatt, and in collaboration with uh, uh, Millennium Pharmaceuticals, and they they, they identified a uh, 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 plasma proteins using a uh, KV4 N terminus as a base. So using the East 2 hybrid system, they, they, they pull out the uh, 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 proteins and uh, they name uh, 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 KV channel interacting proteins and uh, short for, for K-chips. And then they found that uh, at that time there are three uh, uh, K-chips that can specifically interact with a, a KV4 and terminus, but not other, other <coughs> KV members. Okay? And then the, the those proteins are cytoplasmic proteins, and, and we know they, they are 216 to 256 uh, amino acids long. And now we know that four genes identified, they all belong to uh, uh, calcium binding EFN proteins. And they, they, as I said, they, they specifically bind to the KV4 uh, terminus and, and regulate the, the function. So they basically they if you okay they, if you look at the the, the amino acid uh, and the sequence, the core regions of uh, of the all four uh, K chip uh, members they, they are more or less same. These are color coded, and the only differences uh, resides on the N terminus of this this uh, uh, this K chip proteins, <coughs> and there are four of uh, calcium binding hands. So EF hand one, two, and three and four. As I said, uh, the only differences uh, uh, resides in the, the intermediates and KG1 as a KG4. So, K chip, uh, I guess, uh, 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 does three things. And this is, uh, again, this is uh, uh, from the, the uh, original uh, paper and published in 2000. So, this uh, uh, figure shows uh, uh, K chip 1 does three things and increase the current density and slows down uh, inactivation, also uh, speeds up the, the recovery from uh, inactivation. Here, you can, you can see this is a, a, a KV 4.2 alone. Uh, when you co-express a K chip 1, it's the same scale. You can see uh, about 10 times more current. Uh, and then also, the, the, the activation connect is very much, much uh, affected, uh, very slow. Uh, not very slow, it's, it's slow. In this case, and then if you look at the recovery.
recovery, and this is a, a time, and then this is a, a, a current, you can see, without uh, uh, K-chips, and th this is a, a, a time scale for, for recovery. But with K-chip one, you can see this uh, uh, increased uh, uh, time scale for recovery. If you compare the, 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 uh, the speed of recovery, this is a, a without K-chip one, and this is weak with K-chip one, you can see uh, really speeds up the recovery. And also the, the current density uh, increased about 10 times. This is the without K chip one and then with K chip one. Again, uh, uh, K chips uh, do three three things. And so, so uh, increases uh, 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 get the current uh, uh, density, uh, slows down uh, surface uh, uh, inactivation, also uh, speeds up the, the recovery from, from the activation. So basically for the last, uh, uh, Five or six years, and uh, we 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 have been asking, uh, I guess, uh, I guess uh, two simple questions. And then uh, first, and how the the KV4 and K chip K chips interact? In, in other words, and how those those interactions can be uh, translated into the uh, altered gating uh, uh, surface expression. And this is small protein. Think about it. This small small protein is uh, so uh, multifunctional. So how 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 possible this a small protein can do so many so many things, and and also uh, another question we we, we 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 were really interested is that uh, we know there are four K chips and they the only as I said the core regions are basically the same and only difference is that, uh, is in the N terminus and how. <coughs> K chips, different multiple K chips, and they have so different, distinct the, the, the modulation on KV4 function. So, what's the, 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 the basics for that? And that's also the, the question we, 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 we were interested in. And then I guess the, to uh, address those questions, the approaches we, we, we can think of uh, use is like uh, electrophysiology and, and, and molecular biology, and also the uh, uh, protein chemistry. And Uh, this is, uh, I guess, uh, this is just a, a, a summary slide. And when I uh, looked at the wires, and also at that time we, we as I said, we want, want to understand how those uh, the, the two proteins uh, interact, and and we use the, uh, the molecular biology in combination with the uh, electrophysiology to basically identify the two regions at that time. Uh, we think uh, uh, critical for, for, for mediating the interaction. Then first is a, is a quite a proximal of uh, intermediate of KV4, which is a 7 to 11 uh, amino acids. And also another uh, region, which is uh, uh, 7 to 1 to 90 amino acids. And those regions are, are critical uh, in mediating the, the K-chip uh, uh, function. So if you delete them, and you lose the, the K-chip modulation. Okay. We also went on to, to, to understand that uh, the, the structure of uh, of uh, uh, terminus of KV4 and also uh, KG proteins. And this uh, uh, this uh, is a structure we saw at that time, like, uh, I think uh, oh, no, five years five years ago. And if you look at uh, this is a uh, uh, two subunits of the uh, terminus of the uh, KV KV uh, 4.3. Yeah, also it called uh, T1 domain. So the, the the feature of the T1 domain is you can see this a uh, uh, zinc binding site. Okay. And then this, this binding site uh, 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 comes from the four residues and for this uh, for this bi uh, zinc binding site. Three from uh, one uh, subunit, and then another uh, site, another residue comes from the another subunit. Okay, so and also there's a, a loop. And you can you can you can you can tell this is uh, the loop, and uh, this is about uh, uh, 71 to 90 amino acids that previously I showed. That's uh, really important in mediating the K-chip uh, 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 K chip uh, KV4 interactions. So this is the loop. This is a, a, a close-up of, of uh, density. This is a zinc binding site, as I said. Uh, three comes from the, the one subunit. Another one comes from another subunit. Like this is a, a, a system of one can uh, position. Okay, I'm going to yeah, I just uh, later I'm going to show you some data about this uh, this site. 
And we also uh, saw the, the, the K-chip uh, structure, okay, this is a K-chip one structure, you can see there's a, a two lobes, and then the, the, the left, and then the right, and then the, the, the K-chip one has a, a, a 10 alpha helix, and there's a, a alpha, he alpha helix one, up to five, and then there's another five alpha helix, and so it goes from the uh, uh, I-6 to the 10, so you can see there's a, I think uh, alpha helix 10 is right in front of the, this, this molecule, okay, this pink one. And uh, as I said, uh, uh, for, for K-chips, uh, there are four uh, EF and binding sites, and uh, we only observed the uh, uh, two bound uh, calcium ions on, on, on EF3 and 4, okay, but empty for, for EF1 and 2. And I also at that time, the, the the Paul Pfeffinger at the Baylor and also the uh, uh, in collaboration with uh, with uh, San Yang Cho at the uh, at the uh, Baylor, uh, the Salk Institute. Sorry, uh, at the uh, Salk Institute, they also or or solved the the structure of the. Uh, KB4 and, and KG1. What they did was in this study was to they, they, they artificially link the two proteins uh, together uh, with KG1 uh, for uh, KG1 with an uh, intermediate for KB4.2, and they came up with a with a with a with a, a structure like this. This is a, a, a stereo structure, okay. And they, they their conclusion was a, a, a was a dimer, uh, K, uh, two K chips and interact with. In terms of KB4, which is uh, it's not right, and now we know it's not right. And also, they also show the the, 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 the calcium ions bound to the EF3 and 4. Okay, basically, structure is, is identical to what we we, we we got. Okay. And also, I'm also very interested in this 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 channel. Uh, my my former boss, uh, uh, Steve Gosin at Yale, they they also uh, saw the the Structurally, I think they're using the the the, the electro uh, 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 microscopy. I think that the 21 uh, angstrom, and they express that they express those proteins in the mammalian cells, and then look at them, and this is the structure they they, 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 they see. This is a shaker. They, they compare a shaker, and this is a tetramer, and this is a, a section they, they, they take. And then in purple, this is a, 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 the complex structure for, for full lines of KB4.2 and K chip 2, okay? If you, if, you, if you look at the structure, and this is the, 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 the KB4.2, and outside of this, the KB4.2, there are four uh, uh, subunits, that's a, a K chip 2. If you align the, the shaker and the, and the KB4.2, basically the, the uh, KV 4.2 and, and shaker channel they, they uh, align very well. And then if you look at up, uh, the outside of the, 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 the tetramers, there are four little like uh, 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 structures that are uh, KV 4.2. From this structure, you can you can, you can see there's a, a very interesting uh, 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 structure for for, for KV 4.2 and, and K chip 2. So we, and then instead of a, a there's a this a, a 45, uh, like a four, four proteins, and come from outside, and, and interacting with a, with a, with a, the, the tetramers in, in a, a 45 degree angle rather than a one to one. I mean, this is uh, suggesting something very much different than, and then the structure uh, published in 2000 from McKinnon lab that when the, when they solved the KV1.1 and, and the KV beta two. Uh, despite all those those efforts, and then uh, we still do not understand and how how exactly the, those two proteins interact. And so, with the uh, uh, as I said, uh, uh, three uh, uh, three years ago, we, we when when I when I had uh, my my uh, new lab in Beijing, we 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 continued. To, to ask the same question, how KV4 and KG interact? 
make a long story short, and we, we saw the, the structure, the, the, the complex structure of the KB 4.3 N terminus and then KQ1. And this is a, 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 the, the structure that came up. You can see in blue, in the middle of the blue, the, the full N terminus of KB 4.3. Okay? And then the full in outside of the, in, in gold, are the, the, the full length of uh, uh, KQ1. You can you can see there's a, a, a with a, with frames uh, the red and, and, and green dots frames. So the, for this this part we, we gave them the name of a, a, a first uh, a contact interface. You can see the proximal uh, N terminus of KV 4.3 is is interacting with a with a with a, a KG1 structure. In the in the meantime, this this the KG1 interacting with a with a, a neighboring uh, KV4 in terminus. So rather than the from the same uh, 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 molecule, the KG1 interacts with a, a, a another uh, in terminus of KV4.3. So this is very very interesting uh, structure when we first saw it, and they had never seen it before. Okay. If you look uh, compare with uh, with uh, with uh, the structure uh, 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 McKinney lab uh, published in, in 2005, for example, uh, this is uh, the, the the KV beta and KV 1.2. So the, the, this is the tetramer of KV 1.2, and then four outside of the, the the yellow, pink, and then green and, and cyan. The four of KV beta uh, proteins, they they Interact each with the with with the uh, with KV one point two. Okay, for for our uh, KG one and KV four point three, you can see. Okay, this is a, a KV uh, uh, four point two, and this is a uh, the the KG molecules. So it's not like a, a, a diagonal. Like in, in this picture, it's like a, like a diagonal interactions. So one to one. So you can see this is a. a, a the KG1 molecules uh, sitting right in the middle of uh, for two uh, for two KV4 uh, proteins, okay, and also the size is also very different, very very, very, very different. So and this is cartoon uh, explaining um, the the the, the K chip and KV4 interaction, and we gave them a name uh, uh, called uh, clamping uh, action or clamping mode, okay. And in other words, and uh, Somebody uh, call, uh, uh, calls it a uh, molecular plant. So there's a uh, uh, two contact interfaces, and then the first interface, okay, then there's a, a, a proximal of, uh, of interminus of KV4 interact with the uh, interacting with the uh, uh, KG1 molecule, and then uh, uh, there's another uh, second contact <coughs> interface and mediating this, this uh, interaction. This is from a, a neighboring uh, KV4 in terminus. So it it just uh, behaves like like a plant. Okay? <coughs> so this is a uh, 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 what happens when when uh, when KV4 and K chip interact. So the uh, in candy color, I don't know, color, pink color, whatever. And this is a a, a free K chip when 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 no interactions with the with, with, with the K, uh, KV4 KV4 uh, proteins, and this uh, uh, in blue, and this is a uh, uh, the, the bound KG1. Okay, when KV4 in terminus binds to the the KG1, this is how uh, how the the the, the, uh, the conformation of change changes uh, happens. So in you can see the the most uh, obvious the, 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 the structural change or conformation change occurs in the alpha helix ten. Okay, but other alpha helix really uh, doesn't really change much. So when when KV four n terminus binds, there's a, a significant uh, uh, a swing of the, the alpha helix ten. So upwards about forty five degrees. By doing that, it just uh, 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 it generates a, a, a cavity in, in, in the middle of the, this, this molecule. If you look, look at the, uh, the, this uh, field, uh, the, the map, 
Okay, this is a free KG1. When KV4 instrument binds, it just, uh, as I said, the, 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 the Opera Helix 10 moves up, and then that, that uh, generates uh, the, the, the groove, the, the actual uh, voltage groove, the cavity, okay? And then you can you can pretty much the the, the uh, see this this is the uh, detailed uh, the the KV4 in terminus interacting with uh, with uh, the cavity with the K chip a molecule K chip molecule. Okay. So based on the uh, on the structure, we we also uh, uh, using the GST pull down assay to 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 test. If those are residues uh, show in the in the structure are really indeed a critical in mediating the the protein protein interaction. So, if we uh, mutate the the KG1 in particular the the, the, the tyrosine, so you lose the, the protein protein interaction. And also uh, for the uh, three residues in the interim of KB 4.3, if you mutate that one, also you lose the the, the, the interaction uh, with the with the, the KG1. Again, we, we confirm those key residues uh, uh, by by looking at the the, the, the the function. So you can you can see this is the wild type. Again, this is the wild type KV 4.3 itself with uh, with co-expression of KQ1. You can see there's a, a, a lot of current current of this, in this case is five times more current, and then also a, a faster recovery. But if you mutate the the, the one of the, the key residues. Uh, in the 134 uh, position, then you lose the interaction. So this is the, 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 the residue based on the structure. Now again, for, for the intermediate of KV 4.3, also you, you, you do the triple releases and you, you lose the, the in interaction. And for the second inter interface, this is the, uh, the loop region that earlier I mentioned, which is the 71 to 90 in the, in the T1 domain of KV 4.3. And then you can see there's a lot of uh, sub bridges uh, interacting with uh, the KG1 molecule, the, 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 the leucine, tyrosine, and so this uh, uh, several residues are quite important in mediating the, the second interface interaction. Again, and if you if you if you uh, mutate the, the the loop the residues in the loop region with them 70 and, and 73, then you you don't see the the the, the KG1 effect. Okay. This is a, a KV4.3 uh, itself, a double mutation plus KG1. Then you don't see the, the fast uh, recovery. Okay. And then again, also uh, if you mutate the the counterpart of the, the of this interaction, uh, at KG1 molecules uh, 39 and 57, 61, also you lose the the, the interest. Again, confirming this. Uh, those residues in the second interface are really, really uh, critical. Okay. Uh, do they, do those mutations also uh, change the function for increasing current? Uh, uh, for 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 those the, for those uh, second interface, if you if you uh, mutate them. The, the, the main effect, I guess, yes, it is affecting the, 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 the trafficking. I mean, I'm going to show you the, 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 some, some key residues. If you mute that, mute that one, it affects the, 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 uh, the uh, promoting the, the protein, the KV4 proteins moving uh, towards the, the, the surface. Does the K-chip still bind to? That's, if you mute the second interface, that's still bind to the, the KV4 because of the, the, the primary uh, uh, interacting site is still intact. That's the, the intermediate of the KV4. So we, 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 we also uh, tested, so, and again, this is probably can, can, can partly answer your question. So we, we, we tested uh, what second interface, second interface, uh, second interface uh, does in, in terms of uh, 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 promoting the tetrameric assembly or the trafficking. So we use uh, one of the the the, the zinc mutant as a as a as a as a, as a tool. Uh, we know that if you if you are, are 
lots of uh, literature and, and, and showing that if you if you mutate that zinc building that I was talking about, there's a four four residues and are quite important all for the for the zinc binding site. If you mutate that one and, and the, the channels they cannot uh, uh, form uh, tetramers, so they, you, you, you 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 lose the, the, the channel function. So this is a, a gel filtration and uh, we we, we uh, collect those those uh, proteins when uh, protein fractions and then run on the gel. This is a, a zinc mutant. So with uh, this is a wild type uh, of KJ1. So if you if you co-express zinc uh, mutant and also KJ1 wild type, you can see there's a rescue. Okay, even even there's a uh, there's a, a zinc mutant. So you can see there's a uh, normally. Uh, you can get those those uh, zinc mutant fraction at a three twenty thirty thirty four uh, fraction, so which is smaller, very small molecule. And then if you co-express with K G one, you can see the 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 form uh, tetramers, okay. And you pretty much can get those fractions at an early uh, 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 number of fractions. So the, this is uh, at twenty two. So the molecules are a lot lot bigger. If you mutate, for example, those uh, key residues at second interface, basically you lose the the, the, regu uh, the rescue uh, if you compare with the with the, with the KG one. So this again, uh, you can speak, uh, can get the, the fractions at the 30, 31, I mean, uh, uh, 31 uh, number of 31 fractions rather than the, the 22. So indicating that uh, the second interface is, uh, is, is really important in mediating the, the, the tetramark assembly all uh, promoting the, 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 the traffic. And again, this is a, a, a e-based study and we uh, showing that uh, the second interface is really uh, critical in mediating the protein-protein interaction. This is a C110 uh, Itself, or if you if you or mutate to a, it's missing a. Plus KG one, you can you can you can rescue this uh, this uh, uh, a lethal mutant. So showing the, the current and the faster recovery. But if you if you co-express with a, a triple mutant of KG one, you lose the, 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 the functional rescue of this. So suggesting that the, the, the second interface of the, the interaction. Really, uh, it's just to stabilize the, the tetrameric assembly. We also uh, uh, tested if this uh, second interface is important in in in, in, in channel trafficking. Again, this is a this is a, a C one ten A mutant. You can see that the expression very much like uh, uh, around the, the, the nucleus. Uh, co-expressing with the KG1, you can see some some expression on the surface. Okay, but if you if you co-express with a triple mutant KG1, basically the the, the expression pa expression pattern is very much similar like the uh, like the, the C1 KNA mutant itself. And this is a, a summary uh, for the for the triple mutant in the second interface. That if you mutate that one. You lose the rescue, functional rescue of this. this uh, in, for the second question, we, we as I said, we we, we asked was why the, the different K chips and have uh, diff, uh, distinct uh, uh, modulation on different on K four functions, and this uh, was uh, the. One of the figures published in 2002 showing that uh, KG1 and KG4 affect the KB4 function very much differently. Okay, this is a, a KG1. You can see that uh, co-expression with the KG1, you can see about the ten times more current expressed, and then with the uh, and also the, the slow uh, kinetics uh, compared with the KB4 function alone. But if you co-express with the KG4A. And the most uh, 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 dramatic effect you can see is the uh, the inflammation kinetics, uh, not really affecting much for the for the, the current, but K four 
affects uh, the, the kinetics uh, the much, much uh, obvious than the, the, the KG1, okay? If you compare with uh, uh, KG1, KG4, and all KG2 uh, or 3, as I said, uh, the core structure of the uh, KGs, uh, those are uh, color coded, very much uh, similar, the same. Only differences uh, in these cases is, uh, is the intermediate of the, uh, of the K chips. So uh, you, can, you can see there's a, there's a K chip one and K chip four. And this part, this uh, uh, 34 amino acids, and previously called uh, the keystone main, and so KV in deactivation suppressor. And if you delete that part, you you can convert KG4 into KG1. That this uh, was published, I guess, in back in 2002. Okay. And then we 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 uh, we saw that the KG4 is structure and uh, last year. And this is a, a KG4 is structure. And this is a, a, a stereo again uh, structure. You can you can see. It's very much different from the KG1 I showed. This is a, a in blue, this is a alpha helix zero, and this is alpha helix one and two, okay? And if you remember the, the, the previous KG1 I, I showed, in KG1 there's no such a, a, a two or four line alpha helix right in front of the molecule, okay? If you turn this molecule 90 degrees, okay, you can see those two alpha helix helices, like uh, alpha helix zero and two, very much uh, occupied uh, the the, uh, the space. Uh, we, we call a shell-like uh, space. So this is a uh, in KG1. This uh, we don't see this uh, two alpha helices in, in this this molecule. So they basically the, the this space is empty. So if, if, if you remove the, 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 the first three alpha helices, like uh, alpha helix zero and alpha helix one, two, you can basically can, can um, see the, the KG4, this is in uh, uh, so color. And then, and then with the bulk KG1, very much the, 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 the overlap, the structure very much overlap. This is almost uh, no difference. If you remove the the the, the intermediates of uh, alpha helix zero, alpha helix one and two of KV four or KG four or molecules, then then basically they, they, they're very much the same. Again, confirming that as I said, the core structure of all the K chips are same. And this is a we call core structure. Okay, and the only difference is uh, uh, you can tell between KG four and KG one is the uh, uh, those two upper helix, like fork line, okay? And then also you can you can pretty much dock the KV4 N terminus within, within this uh, uh, KV4 molecule. You can see this is the alpha helix zero of KG4, and this is uh, the, the N terminal uh, peptide of KV, uh, KV4, 4.3. So suggesting that, if, if you look at this structure, it's suggesting that uh, the, the N terminus of KG4 Really can 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 bind to the cross rock of the KV4, and it's doing something. Okay. So here, uh, we we if you compare the the this is a, a this KG4 for molecule. Okay, and this is a, a is a alpha helix zero of the KV KG4 molecule. You can see this is a wild. Uh, this is a the the group or the, the, the binding pocket of, uh, of the, the alpha helix zero of the KG4A. And this is the same structure, so, and this is a, a N-terminus of uh, KV4.3 that, uh, that can bind to this, this group, okay, can bind to this group. So, based on this, uh, this, this, this structure, we, we, at that time, we, we, we hypothesized that uh, the KV4 N-terminus 
confined to this uh, this uh, this group, okay, this uh, this pocket, that in turn can release, cause the the the, the, the conformational change of the of the KG four A, and then causes the release of uh, the intermus the intermus of KB KG four, okay. So to, to test this, we 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 use the pull down essay and to see if those K chip four, intermus and K B four. K chip four. Oh, let, 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 let me say it again. So using the pull down essay, we we test it if the K B four intermus and also the K chip four A intermus intermus can compete to the to the to the to the whole domain of the K chips or the, the hydrophobic group. This is the control, you can, you can see this is the, uh, the, the input of proteins. The MBP uh, labeled the KB4.3 intermediates, and then TSD lab, uh, 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 labeled uh, the fuse uh, his, his domain. Okay. So this is a, a, a TSD keys, the, the first 34 amino acids of the KB, KG4A. And this is a, a KB4.3 uh, intermediates, okay? And then those two KB4.3 intermediates and KG, uh, KG domain of K, uh, KG4A, they really do not bind each other. We can show in the, just a single band uh, on the gel, okay? But for if if you if you look at the the, the figure B and uh, both uh, uh, KB four point three and terminus and K and KIS domain can can form a complex with a core domain <coughs> KG four A. You can see this is a, a KIS GST uh, 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 label uh, with a KIS. This is a core domain of KG four A, which is uh, 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 without the first three uh, alpha helics. So you can see they bind they, they bind very well. And also the KV four point three in terminus also can bind to core domain. You can see this two band. Okay. Suggesting that uh, the each of the, the intermediate of the, this molecule can bind to the core of the K uh, KG four A. We also use uh, 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 another uh, assay is a geo geofiltration assay and to to prove if there's a competition between the between the two peptides with the core domain of the KG4A. So this is with increasing increasing concentration of the KV4.3 and terminus loaded on the gel, you can see it very much can knock off bound keys okay, on the on the on the core domain. So if you increase the the the, the, the KV4.3 and terminus you can knock off the, the, the keys already bound to the, the KG4A, okay? And this is a, this is a pull-down acid, this is a gel filtration acid. And so in the same thing, if you, if you uh, are in, increasing the, the, the concentration for KB 4.3 in terminus, basically can knock off the, the previously, previously uh, piece bound to the, the core of the KB 4.3, KG4A. How specific do you think the interaction is here? Would it be sufficient just to have any hydrophobic alpha helix? Uh, Since it's just a hydrophobic binding pocket, you have two hydrophobic alpha helices competing with each other. I mean, is it more specific than that, or? Oh, it's just uh, just the nature of the, the hydrophobicity. That's the that question, right? Okay, this uh, this this is a, a a very good question. I think the we we have not uh, tried like for example just a uh, uh, take. Uh, Part of uh, a greasy molecules, for example, from different species, and just see if that one can bind to the, the core domain. What we did was we, we uh, in I guess in previous slide we just showed the the the, the, the labels, like for example, for example, GST or other labels, they don't bind to the core domain. But we we have not uh, uh, tried other hydrophobic nature of a molecule in similar length, for example, see if we can bind to the to the to the to the core. We no we haven't. 
Would the, always the functional concentration of the KISS domain mm -hmm. be far higher than you would ever have your KB4 in terminus since it's essentially bound, right? Right, you are talking about How affinity. would you ever get to a, com okay. you, you, the affinity would have to be so much higher for the KB4 to be able to compete with that. Actually, this uh, was a question that guys, one of the reviewers wanted, also wanted to know, also we, there's a, we actually, we, at, at that time, we, we were trying to see, to call, compare which one has a higher affinity for that, for that, uh, for that ball domain. Okay. Uh, the reason we have to not uh, 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 come up with any, any result or any uh, uh, convincing result is because of the, the, the ACEs we, we, we were trying not really uh, Give, give us confidence and to address this, this question. I think uh, we, this is, I, in other words, this is a, the, 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 the AC, we don't have a, a very good AC to address this. I, I guess uh, you can, you can uh, come up with the, with the AC like a, a, a more physical, a biochemical AC like, uh, with increasing concentrations of all, all particular one proteins, and then and then and then see how it binds to the core domain, and also compare with the, uh, with, the with another partner bind to the the, the I guess the, the AC problem. We don't have a, a very uh, solid AC to address the affinity questions, and then I guess the. This this uh, ITC uh, AC is a is a isodynamic uh, 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 chromatography AC. Uh, it requires a, a very uh, sophisticated uh, uh, machine to uh, test this. And also, recent uh, for bio uh, like signal like a uh, beer call uh, AC, then you can you basically can detecting. Uh, protein-protein interactions, I guess the, 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 the thickness of uh, the protein-protein interaction, uh, if you have one protein bound to the, the bottom of the, the, the plate, if you have a, a another protein bind to the, the, the protein, basically the, the thickness of the, the interaction changes. And then, and then you can come up with a, with a, a criteria that uh, telling you the affinity of the protein-protein interaction, but again, this is a, Machine of this uh, itself is very very expensive. We we have not uh, yet uh, uh, tried yet, but uh, it is a question. Yes. So one more question. Do you think then using the same interaction that you would get uh, K chip heteromultimers or polymers, where they well a K chip four links up to another K chip or another K chip four using the KISS domain and the hydrophobic pocket of the next one? This is something I don't know if I, think, uh, I may, may have something then, but uh, I, earlier I was, uh, uh, I was talking with the Nick, and then the intermediates of the KG4A are very, very greasy, and they very much like to associate and to form form like. A, a Different uh, 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 profiles. Okay, if you, if, for example, if you if you pass to the column, they, it's not like a, a K two one. They, you can basically can you can see a single profile of the, of the of the protein. Basically, it's a monomer protein. But for K two four, because of the the, the greasy part of the, the intermediate of K two four A, and very very much like to form uh, a different form of the of the, the, the protein. I think yes, it is because of uh, the, the intermediates of the KG4A. If you delete that part, uh, it shapes the, the protein profile. But we have not published that yet. We, 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 we don't know really much about uh, what that really means. But uh, if you look at function, if you, if you change the, 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 the protein profile,
So it's just to uh, prove the it's because of the, the, the release of the, the interim is the K2-4A that affects the, 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 the activation. We then uh, injected the, the, the peptide of, uh, of, uh, of uh, uh, interminus of K2-4A into the oversight and then, and then with the time I guess uh, we recall it about 30 minutes you can see this is a, a scrambled peptide inject into the oversight within 30 minutes you don't see very much changes in terms of the kinetic but if you if you inject the kiss uh, peptide you can see this uh, with the time uh, uh, goes on you can see the, the slow activation and, 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 and developed okay and also we we we, we, we we took the, 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 the piece of the, the KG4 fused to the KV4.3. You can also see uh, the, the, this is a, you can also see the, the, the slow inclination of, uh, of uh, KV4.3 and piece uh, chimera that, that, that caused the, 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 the slow inclination. Uh, this is a comparison of, a, this is a, a, a chimera, and this is a, a Co-expression of KV4.3 plus KG4A, and this is a uh, KV4.3 alone as an internal uh, deletion. You can see. So if you fuse the piece of that uh, KV4 KG4A, and you can see that that's a slow activation uh, induced. So this is, uh, I guess, the, the our current uh, working uh, model okay, with a with a cytoplasm uh, plus uh, KG4A. This is a KV4 of channels. Okay, when when KV4 binds to the, the core domain of the K chips, that causes the the, the conformational change, and also releases uh, the the uh, interminence of K chip 4A. Okay, and that in turn the K chip 4A binds to somewhere its receptor site, and we think we just uh, just uh, explore this I guess. Uh, probably in the, in, uh, in the intracellular uh, RNA conducting pathway very close to the, the, the intracellular uh, uh, pore region and that affects uh, the, the gate, the, the, the KV4 activity. This is, I guess, uh, our current uh, uh, model. Okay, in, in summary, uh, uh, so K chips and KV4 uh, are natural complex in, in in native cells and in neurons and encoding the, the ISA current, the substrate of any type of current, is quite important in shaping the action potential waveforms. And then we we uh, uh, stop the, the co crystal structure of the internal of KV4.3 and the KG1. Uh, it shows a, a clamping action, a clamping mode for this protein protein interaction which has not which was not known before. If you if you can uh, if you compare the, the KV beta and then other uh, KV channels and it has a two uh, contact interfaces and one is responsible for for I guess for for affecting the the, the activation uh, in terminus of the KV four channel. The, the other inter, uh, uh, contact interface uh, mediating the uh, or promotes the, the Assembly all promoting the, 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 the trafficking, channel trafficking. Okay. And for K4A, and based on the structure and also of course of, of course the functional studies, we know the the interminus of K4A differenti differentiates with other K chips, and because of that interminus, uh, that affects the, 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 the KV, uh, KV4 gate. And other than that, I think the core domain of kg 4 a basically um, functions as similar as the other K chips. And also, right now we're thinking it also clamps the, the, the KV4 channel, okay, KV4 channel. 
And once the, uh, based on the, the, the our uh, current uh, working model, once the KV4 binds to the, the core domain of the K chip for a, a, it causes the conformance to change, releases the, the N terminal K chip, K chip for it, and that N terminal somehow <coughs> binds to its receptor site, either in the intracellular iron conducting pathway or at six somewhere, it causes the, the, the slowly activation. But so you, you don't see an increase of the uh, uh, current type with the uh, KT4. So when do you think the, you know, the, the exchange happens? Yeah, the, uh, we actually saw the increase the, the, the trafficking of surface expression depends what you express with the, with the K-Chip-4A. And probably I'm going to show you some, some data in, in, in a second. So currently we're thinking at, uh, how K-Chips can, can in native styles, I guess the Nick was, all, I guess, uh, was, was talking about uh, one probably or one of the, your, your your lab members are, are also probably doing similar things, and then we uh, also kind of interested in how, in for example, in native neuron. Yeah. Really, this is the one working. Okay, yeah. and how they they they, they compete, if for example, in, in native neurons, how they 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 compete each other for the for the for the KV4 in terms and how by doing that, how they they affect the KV4 activation, what kind of dynamic competition between different K-chips for the KV4 channel? Because we know there's uh, several four K-chips in, in, in neurons, and how they, 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 which one they pick, for example, and what kind of uh, conditions they pick different K-chips. And because the, the, the functional consequences of, because of the, 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 the activation, they, Totally different activity. They they they, they affect the KV4 channel. Would that be any any functional consequences for this this different uh, 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 competition, a different binding of uh, different K chips? And also, would that affect uh, the the neuronal uh, excitability? And I guess this is a question we're currently thinking by using hopefully using some right tools can address those, those questions. And those are the, 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 the students in the lab and, and contributing to the work. And also the, for the structure work, we, we, we collaborated with the, with the National Institute of uh, Biological Sciences in Beijing. And this is uh, uh, Dr. Chai, uh, who is a crystallographer. So very good. At Something structures and there's a uh, and also got a uh, lot of funding from uh, Ministry of Education, National Science Foundation, and the Ministry of Science and Technology. And with that, I think uh, I'd like to answer some questions you have. And also, before I do it, I guess uh, Jenny asked one of the questions. And, uh, This is uh, the mutant I guess I showed you earlier, and for K chip four actually, the, as I said, uh, the, for K chip four A also promotes the, the tetrameric assembly, and for the for, for, for this mutant, and this is monomer, this is tetramer, okay, and so this is K V four point three. Uh, alone you can see this basically uh, a tetramer, as you can see a monomer. But for this mutant, the T1 domain mutant C1110A, okay, you can see uh, basically uh, the channels cannot uh, form uh, attachment for multiple monomers. So if you co-express the K chip 4A, okay, in this case, you can see a lot of, uh, of uh, attachments uh, are formed. Okay. And then we know we have, uh, I don't have uh, the functional data. Uh, if you remember the, the C, one one can a mutant itself almost no current on all we inject a lot with a little bit current. But 
example, if you co-express with KG4A, you see a lot of R. So that indicating to us, at least, so uh, again, answer your question is that uh, increase the surface expression. But not a lot of wild type, which is a puzzle for us. I, we really do not understand why KG4A does not increase the survey expression a lot for the wild type KV4. Is that because of uh, need some 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 hypothesis? Uh, I think uh, why it doesn't uh, like for example the ICAR motif all the the KV4 KG4 in terms of itself serves as a as a as a retention motif, but we don't think that's the case. I don't know why the this must be a canceling each other the, the, the canceling effect. Why they don't increase the the, the wild type a lot? But when you if you if you have a mutant that shows the, the channel can fail to form the tetramer, in that case you see a dramatic effect. The K chip four can help the channel to form the tetramers. It's possible that actually forming tetramer. Yeah, we, it's, we it's, it's, it's one thing, and yeah. free trafficking is another. Thing. But we can we, okay in in I guess in this paper. Yeah, we think we think channel has to form a tetramer first, okay, and then that happens in the ER already, in the ER already, and then once it's in the, in, in tetramer and moves up to the to the cytoplasma, and then move, move to gauge and after the mod modification. It, Goes to the inserted into the, the memory, but this is a this the, the, the current we think. Right? Have you done any work with the B variant? Do you have any idea what the relative abundance of the A and B variants are in native cells? Not really. B, uh, no, we, we, we don't have any idea. And then Talking about in neurons? Yeah. No. Or anywhere that they're expressed in neurons. No, 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 really. No one works in. But do you see any differences in terms of uh, mediating the, the surface expression? Although the, the I know we know there's a. Uh, the, Effects on the activation differently. So I haven't made the B variant yet, but uh, I see a big promotion of surface expression of yeah. native 4.2, uh, 4 maybe not 4.3, but with the B, with the A variant, okay. even not to the extent that you get with K chips, other K chips, but you get a, maybe a three or four fold increase yeah, in current density. That's, that's all right to me. So I'm just curious. I just, and it, Oh, I try to figure out the difference between A and B are doing, and which one's the actually the active, or are they both active in the complex and native cell? I think that's a very very interesting question. Um, I don't know, maybe uh, what kind of uh, neurons you 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 will study is a is a is a cortical neurons. What about other type of neurons? Um, do they have uh, more abandoned expression for K chips than other? Uh, hey, it's tough to know. I guess I guess some people would it suggest that there's some preferential expression, um, like in the hippocampus, um, some regional specificity for K chips two and three, but there's not a lot out there known for four. I think mostly because there aren't really good antibodies out there. Right. So I think that makes it a little more difficult to know. And then I think that the challenge is with the DPPs being in the complex and their ability to overcome the effect of the KISS domain. Um, but then the stuff on the knockouts, the, I think the actual what determines kinetics of the native channels, whether it's the which members of the complex are important, 
it's not clear because nothing seems to fall out nicely in Aiden. But so. can, you, can you simplify, and we, we, yeah, this is a question we, 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 we actually uh, actively and, and discuss it in the lab, and then we, we always want to use a simplified system. First two, like, if you throw in the locking, the high water, the subunits, and, and those uh, mammalian cell side, and see if really you see the phenotype. Started with the with a, with hard one with the with the native neurons and I don't it's just uh, at least you have a good tools to really differentiate uh, what it does and yeah uh, but for those uh, RAI probes at least you have to prove that in 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 mammalian cells and then it knocks down for example seventy percent eighty percent ninety percent. We have to know before moving to the nation. Is that, that what you're still doing? Or is yeah, we, you know, we showed that, yeah, we uh, validated siRNA constructs against HS constructs. Um, and when I did differentiate between the A and B variants, or any, I just took core domains for each of them. But that's yeah. the general idea. Right, but it's really hard to, I mean, core domain that can be main. But, Based on the on, on our results, I guess that it's really hard to, to knock down a particular uh, a sub a species without affecting other others. This is a, a downside of, uh, of having a probe against uh, a colony. I don't know have you have thought of uh, yeah. well the sequence is fairly divergent at the nucleotide level. While it's highly conserved at the um, protein level, so I think it's possible to come up with a probe that's specific for the message. But uh, our challenge is really to see any of any effect from losing the K chips has been more of a challenge uh, than seeing a non-specific effect, because I, I think there's real problems with redundancy because the, there's the beta subunits that can be there. And they can promote surface expression, and then what exactly determines kinetics is still a tough question. So I, I mean, I think my problem anyway has been seeing an effect. Your no, current, no current here is a is a is a current kinetics. Is it you have vision kinetics? What's your current here? Uh, so what I was looking at current kinetics, surface expression, kind of anything that would change. So. It's still real early days, but seeing an effect. What about recovery? What about recovery? Um, it's been in the native cells. It's still a challenge to really measure recovery accurately enough because you have other contaminant currents that are unrelated. So, I'm still trying to figure out a good way to really measure just KB4 channels. And then if you see, I mean, if you see a small shift because they're redundant, you know, can you detect that with all the background? So really cleanly dissecting it out has been uh, my challenge anyway, so. I guess maybe one of the, the questions from the reviewers, or maybe from, I don't know, from the lab, <laughs> asking us to do something like, um, is any, any <coughs> physiological or significance of those, those different subjects in, in those neurons? I think that's a very, very athletic question, but it's very, very hard. <laughs> yeah. It's a, I mean, we really want to prove this uh, dynamic competition uh, in native neurons, and that's, uh, and that's the probably activity-based competition, and I don't see any, any yeah, I, I don't see any different affinities and between different K chips, but I can tell if West is bind to the different numbers of K chips and that, that really uh, can dramatically affect the, 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 the activation. Is it is it possible this is what I was trying to come back to it. is it the K chips their function as an as an adapter protein uh, that they bind 
they're a mediator of an interaction between the channel and a third member, and that's really the important function, and that's why it's so hard to discern because it's you know the third pieces. So I mean, I guess the neural calcium sensors, which they're related to, that's what they do. They kind of bind to the like a dopamine receptor and recruit kinases that trigger internalization, but they don't necessarily do anything by themselves. That they're a calcium-based trigger for um, triggering internalization of the receptor. <laughs> that sounds really complicated. I, yeah, I just, uh, it's possible. <laughs> so, I mean, similarly, similarly can the, um, after the teacher is bound to your kidney or channel, so is there any function uh, of conformation or change in your channel function? Like, is, is there, a, that's the, you know, beside your, your antenna signal exchange, is there any other uh, gross uh, conformational change, uh, very channel function, or, or you know, related to channel function? Uh, probably this unlikely. I don't see any. What's the, what's the calcium body? Uh, it, by, uh, you mean when calcium bound to the, the K chip? Yeah. Uh, well, that part of the uh, uh, property is not really uh, affecting, uh, uh, affects the, the, the interactions, but not, not that much. Not the, the, the natural life. Are you there? 